2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8. For we do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, of the affliction we experienced in Asia. For we were so utterly burdened beyond our strength that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death. Seasons of suffering will come in this life. A terminal diagnosis, an accident, an unexpected death, the loss of finances, the loss of a job, the loss of a relationship, and many more. It's within things like these that we find just what it's like to feel burdened beyond our strength, to feel the reality that life is full of pain and hardship, to wake up and know that every day is going to be a struggle, to feel like we can't move forward, to feel weighed down, to feel helpless, to not know when the suffering will end. And we ask, God, where are you in all of this? Do you not see me? Have you left me? Why, God, would you allow this to happen? And we question him because it hurts. But then in verse 9, Paul says, Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death, but... But that was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He delivered us from such deadly peril, and he will deliver us. On him we have set our hope that he will deliver us again. And so God's promise to his people is that seasons of suffering are not just a reminder that our own strength is not sufficient, but also a proclamation of how God's strength never fails. They are not only a reminder of the darkness and brokenness that is present in this age, but also a sign pointing to God's purpose to restore everything in the age to come. You see, it was for a season that Jesus endured the cross, which is not only a reminder of the gruesome death that he died, but also brings to remembrance that God raised him from the dead. And so we say, yes, we are afflicted, but we are not crushed. Yes, we are perplexed, but we are not driven to despair. We may be persecuted, but God has not forsaken us. We may be struck down, but we are not destroyed because our hope is in God, who has delivered us from the deadly peril of sin, made us alive in Christ Jesus, and given us life. And so instead of questioning God, we can choose to trust what he says. We can say, God, I know you're still here. I know you see me. I know you haven't left me. I know you love me. And I trust you.